Hello and welcome to lesson 33, Vlad here. In this lesson we'll continue with presenting the effects, the Photoshop effect, and we'll choose Effect Gallery. As you see I have prepared this, a simple photo from a S, X, U, H, U. It's a lot of free images so you can use them for commercial or just creative usage. And uh, let's start with the first one called Color Pencil. And you see you have a couple of settings like Pencil Width. Remember those effects are not vector effects, so they will uh, be applied by changing the actual image pixels. You can see I'm still playing around. You get the idea. We we'll move to the next one called Cutout, and this simplifies the colors. You can see what's going on. The next one is called Dry Brush, and you can change the brush size, the brush detail. And the texture. The next one is called film grain. So you can change the amount of grain, the highlight area, and the intensity of the light. The next one is called fresco. And you got the size, the brush detail, and the texture. The next one is called Neon Glow. Then you can adjust the glow color, maybe make it red. So, you can change the brightness of the color. Those kind of effects, especially Photoshop one, works best with photos. So if you have vector works, they might not work at all. Or you have no, you have, you don't see any visible effect. Okay, so paint jobs. You can change the brush type, the sharpness, the brush type, so we can dark rough, white sharp, white blurry, and sparkle. The next one is called palette knife, and you can see you can do the stroke size. The stroke detail and the softness. Okay. The next one is called plastic warp and makes the photo looks like plastic. And the smooth clear, of course. Very interesting effect. The next one is called poster edges. So you can change the thickness, the edge intensity, and the posterization. The next one is called Rough Pastels. And here we have a couple of more options, like Stroke Length, Stroke Detail. The texture can be Brick, Burlap, Canvas, Sandstone. We can also add our own custom textures. Of course, we can scale them down, scale them up, emboss them more, change the light direction, and invert. Okay. You can see the difference. The next one is called Smudge Stick. And again, you can increase the stroke length, the highlight area, and the intensity, maybe. Moving on, we get the sponge, definition we can change, and the smoothness. Next one is called underpainting, and you got similar like size, texture coverage, and the rest of settings are the same. 
then watercolor, shadow intensity, and level of texture. Then we move on to brush strokes. You can choose accented edges, edge width, edge brightness, and of course the smoothness. The next one is called angle strokes. Again, you can change the direction balance, the stroke length, the sharpness, and that's it. Then we have cross hatch with similar effects. Then we have dark strokes, white intensity. Then we have ink outlines. Can change the light and darkness effects. Then we got spectra. And we can change the smoothness. We also got spread strokes. And can change the angle and the spray radius. We got summing. You can put the stroke pressure and the contrast we want. The last in this lesson, and we'll continue in the next one, is diffuse glow. And you can change the grayness. The glow amount and the cleave amount. Then we have glass. Smoothness, you can change the from blocks, canvas, frosted or tiny lens. And of course we can maybe scale them down or invert. The last one is called Ocean Ripple. And it's similar to glass, but we can see the ripple magnitude as well. Okay, thank you. Let's do the next lesson where we'll continue the rest of three effects.